welcome back to another video. For this Christmas themed video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I decided I was going to answer a very important question that seems to come up around Christmas time every year. And that is, what Christmas movie should we watch? Now for me, as I would think it's the same for most of you guys watching, in my family there's three, maybe four Christmas movies that we just watch constantly. But I wanted to answer the question of what is the best Christmas movie to watch. Now I've gone ahead and compiled and watched 16 different Christmas movies and I tried to grab from some of the very well-known classics to some of the lesser known sort of more Hallmark type movies and tr I tried to get a good array of different types of Christmas movies to watch. I've sat down and watched every single one of these 16 Christmas movies and scored them based on a few key things that I thought were pretty typical to look for in every Christmas movie. And that is the lesson learned in the movie, the Christmas lesson sort of moral of the story, how well that was portrayed, the feelings felt from that lesson learned, the overall humor of the movie because Christmas is an exciting time of year, so you would think a Christmas movie should have humor and happiness in it. And then the overall Christmas theme of the movie. Was this movie, if you watched it, did it help get you in the Christmas spirit? I watched all 16 of these movies, and although I watched them over a span of a month and a half, I did make sure to score them from 1 to 10 in each one of those four categories immediately after watching each movie to give it the most accurate score possible. And I'm not going to be sharing those scores with you, but essentially the purpose of doing that for all of those movies was so I could put these movies into a bracket format to then score them that way for you. And I did this sort of double scoring method because I wanted to make sure that when I put the movies in bracket format that I wasn't pairing movies that I knew what I would choose one over the other immediately. I wanted to be able to put them into the bracket format, having them already in more of a neutral ordering because I knew the bracket format would be leaning toward my own preference and my own opinions. So I wanted to make sure that they had something that was more neutral. All of them were scored very evenly before getting to this point. So the traditional bracket format is you have all of the teams or movies or whatever you're scoring and you go and put them against each other from the best and the worst. So like in my case I have 16 movies so I would have movie number one paired with movie number 16 and movie number two with movie number 15 and so on down the list. All right, so now we're gonna go through each one of the brackets and I'm going to essentially walk you through the decisions that I made and why I made them. So for the first pairing, we have National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation and The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, National Lampoon's is a classic in our family and it's one that we watch almost every single year and we absolutely love it. The Nightmare Before Christmas, however, is slightly less of a traditional Christmas movie, but there is still a lot of Christmas around it, and it does take place around Christmas. So I thought, you know, this is a good movie to add into this list of 16. Of these two movies, I chose to move on to the next round, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And the reasoning behind that was, of the two movies, I thought National Lampoon's is much more of a traditional Christmas movie and although I do like The Nightmare Before Christmas, I still think it generally fits better into the Halloween genre than it does the Christmas genre. The second pairing is Elf and The Polar Express. Of these two, my decision was pretty simple. Elf won by a pretty long shot. The Polar Express, although I know it has become a Christmas classic overall, I really couldn't look past the animation of it and just there, there were too many scenes to me personally that were just very, very strange. Very like the whole hot cocoa scene, I didn't understand, and the man on top of the train also makes no sense. The third pairing is Jim Carrey's How the Grinch Stole Christmas and the 1969 Frosty the Snowman. Now this version of How the Grinch Stole Christmas is the only version that I had available, and throughout this whole process, it was actually the only version that I could find to watch. I personally like this one. I know this is one of those versions of the movie that it wasn't the most popular, but 
I ended up choosing this over Frosty the Snowman to move on to the next round. Frosty the Snowman is very much a classic Christmas movie, but it had such a low ranking to begin with because it's more of a very cute, whimsical type movie with really no moral, whereas The Grinch does have a very good moral attached to it. So that's essentially why The Grinch won out over Frosty. The next pairing is The Muppets Christmas Carol and the 1968 The Little Drummer Boy. Now prior to doing this video, I had never seen The Little Drummer Boy, so I did not know what to expect at all when I watched it, and I was actually pleasantly surprised. Now there really is not much humor at all involved in that movie, in contrast to The Muppets Christmas Carol that has lots of humor humor in it. And overall for a Christmassy theme, The Muppets Christmas Carol ended up winning this round. The next pairing is A Charlie Brown Christmas and The First Home Alone. Of these two movies, I really felt like A Charlie Brown Christmas captured the spirit of Christmas more, whereas Home Alone, it took place over Christmas, and yes there's Christmas decorations and Christmas music, but there really isn't much in the way of Christmas spirit happening. And as a result, I ended up choosing a Charlie Brown Christmas. Next we have Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas and the 1981 A Christmas Carol. Now, although I had already watched another version of A Christmas Carol, this one was in a much different style and I thought it was worth a go. Whereas The Muppets Christmas Carol is very humorous and it's more of a musical actually. The 1981 version is very much not a musical and very much not humorous. It tells the whole story of A Christmas Carol in a much more somber way and really leaves you feeling kind of sad when the movie ends. Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, on the other hand, tells three different short stories and all of them tell very good different morals and leave you feeling much more in the Christmas spirit. So as a result, Mickey won out. The next pairing is It's a Wonderful Life and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now, I feel as though my decision on this one is going to be rather controversial among some people because I ended up choosing Rudolph over It's a Wonderful Life. My reasons for that are that if we're talking Christmas movie and Christmas themed movie, It's a Wonderful Life, similar to Home Alone, although the climax of the movie takes place right around or on Christmas, it really has nothing else to do with Christmas. I don't recall anywhere in the movie them talking about all of the townsfolk coming together and giving him the money that they owe as a Christmas miracle or the angel talking about him getting his Christmas wish of never being born and I, I feel as though Christmas was just used as the time for this to happen and that's really the only reason. So as a result I did choose Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer over It's a Wonderful Life as far as Christmas movies go. And the final pairing in the first round is A Christmas Story and The Christmas Shoes. A Christmas Story is probably the most classic movie that I know for Christmas. I've watched it every single year for Christmas for I don't even know how long. And it's just one of those movies that you can watch again and again and it really doesn't get tiring. The Christmas Shoes is one of those very traditional Hallmark Christmas movies that have you crying and feeling super sorry for some people but super happy for other people and there's that very deep feel-good moment when the main character's eyes are opened to the truth and they rush home to their family. So for this I did choose A Christmas Story to move on. Moving on to our second round, we have National Lampoons versus Elf. This was a much more difficult decision for me to make because, like I had said previously, both of these movies are classics in my family. Both of them are very humorous and both of them have gems of scenes. But after much deliberation, I did decide that if I had to choose between the two, I would prefer watching Elf. So Elf moves on. The next pairing was The Grinch versus The Muppets. This was an easier decision for me to make because of the two movies, I definitely prefer The Muppets Christmas Carol over The Grinch. So The Muppets move on to the semifinals. Next we have Charlie Brown versus Mickey Mouse. Charlie Brown tells a very good Christmas story, but Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas captures three different stories. 
So after much deliberation, I decided Charlie Brown will move on. The final pairing in round two was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and A Christmas Story. And this one was really a no-brainer for me, and A Christmas Story moved on. Now for the semifinals, we have Elf versus A Charlie Brown Christmas. Of these two movies, although I do love them both, I did choose Elf to move on to the finals. And my decision was based mostly on the humor levels of the movie. And Charlie Brown, although it does tell a very good story, I couldn't look past at this point how negative the other children are toward Charlie Brown so much throughout the movie. So Elf ended up moving on. The other semi-finalists were A Christmas Story and The Muppets Christmas Carol. Of these two movies, A Christmas Story definitely, in my opinion, captures the essence of Christmas and that wonder of Christmas for children much more than A Muppets Christmas Carol. So for that, A Christmas Story moves on to the finals. And here we are in the final round to determine what the best Christmas movie of all time is. And we have Elf versus A Christmas Story. Now for this finale, I really had to dig deep into some of the very particulars of each movie to determine which one I would want to deem number one victor as far as Christmas movies go. I had to take into consideration the parts of the movies that I might not have liked so much. For these two movies, I really couldn't judge which one was more Christmassy because I found both of them pretty equally Christmassy and enjoyable to watch. And in the end, I made my decision and so for this video, the number one all-time Christmas movie is A Christmas Story. So be prepared, if you ever come over to my house and ask to watch a Christmas movie, chances are I'm gonna put that one in. Let me know in the comments below how your bracket would turn out. If you were to do this exact same bracket with these exact same 16 movies, which one would end up winning for you? I'll put a template in the description of this video so you can copy and paste it into the comment section and fill out your own bracket so I can see what yours would look like. Make sure if you enjoyed this video to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because all of my videos this December are going to be Christmassy themed. I hope you have a great week and don't forget to join me on Sundays because I'm posting weekly vlogmases as well. Have a great week and I will see you guys next time. Bye!